Good morning, family. And I'm calling you guys family because we share so much of our life with you that I feel like you know more about what's going on in me, Gio's, Taika, and even Mia's life more than our actual family. And today's vlog is going to be a little bit different. I'm calling it Take Family to Work Day because we've been sharing a lot of our vacations house updates like the pool getting built and all that and i love sharing all of our our family wins with y'all but that's a one-sided perspective of our life and i was like you know what i should share the work perspective because i used to share what goes on with jk barbell all that stuff all the time and i haven't done so um anymore because things just got really really busy so if you guys like this side of our life and we want to see more of this hit the like button, let me know in the comments below, and uh, we'll share way more of the work side of things. Before we get into the project side of things, let me update you guys on my office, because I don't know if I did an office tour, and bear with me, it's a mess. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see I've been bouncing back and forth from LA to Vegas to Sacramento, back to Vegas, to Texas, it's been nuts the last couple of months, so I haven't really been able to settle in, but I do have progress. So, should we start with the left side or the right side? Let's start with the right side, this looks better. So I set up a little uh, barbell brigade corner, um, just like some of the stuff that I've been very, very proud of that we launched, like our gloves, I really like that old English design, those hats, some of the coolest pieces that we've had. I remember this flannel jacket we dropped, I think, last year? Um, the squad collection, deadlift tee, singlets. There's just a lot of things that we've uh, produced throughout the years. And I wanted to create like a little barbell corner so that like I can see what we've done and how I can continue to inspire and what direction we should go. These shoes right here actually have a ton of sentimental value. So these bad boys are my very first powerlifting shoe. And the reason why I have it here, I actually need a I have a glass case somewhere that's supposed to go. Oh, it's underneath. So that you see those glass pieces? It forms a box that goes over. So if this never was, this never was. You know, so that's why it's like the origin. It's my very first pair of shoes that I bought when I used to watch West Side uh, barbell videos all the time. And I picked up a pair of chucks, started training powerlifting in 2012, have my first meet in 2013. And 10 years later, we are here today. Some of the supplements we dropped, you guys know I love Hawaii, so I got all kinds of stuff over here. And over here, this is one of my favorite photos of Taika that Gio took. And the reason why I chose to blow that one up, I wanted a constant reminder to always have childlike wonder and be happy. Like life is in here, right? It's never about reality. It's always about your perception of reality. And when I look at this picture, it makes no sense. Do you guys know why he has roller skates on? It's because he was on this jungle gym, okay? And he wanted to climb the jungle gym with roller skates. Makes zero sense. He ends up falling off, and I think he imagined how funny that is, and he started dying laughing. That, to me, is such an amazing perspective on life because that's his reality. I'm sure Gio's reality was like, oh my God, what are you doing? You're gonna break your neck, roller skates, you can't climb anything with that, you know? And that's so like adult, cerebral, uh, not optimistic. And so life is about how you see it. So I always wanna remind myself, I wanna be in this guy's brain. And of course, I love happy stuff, so Ninja Turtles. And also the office doesn't get any cooler than that. On this side, on the uh, more work end, I was finally able to get dual monitors. And it's actually technically quad monitors because uh, those are double wide monitors. So you guys might be going, wait, why do you have so many computer screens? Well, I have my laptop that I travel with. I have dual monitors because I do a lot of our design we'll have to blow up and I look through a lot of spreadsheets. Like when you're a CEO or if you're any type of upper level management, you're looking at data reports all the time. So some of the spreadsheets that I have, you open it and there's like 20 different columns. You're looking at different quarters, year over year, it's a lot. 
so i don't want to be like looking like that and then over here is our special podcast and vlog computer and i have a dedicated landline for that so that i can send footage so it's way faster because the last thing i want is upload like 20 gigs of something and it slows down my real work or my not my real work but my the work that i'm working on and the rest of it is freaking messy because we have like random samples that we're working on for barbell like working on knee sleeves which i'll show you guys more later like uh, other hoodies random just like pieces that i haven't been able to clean up even that whole thing over there's just a big mess but i'm able to work so oh and you guys might see all of that those are all the different colors that uh we make at bottle brigade for our t-shirts so i have that set up there yeah this is pretty much my work setup from day to day i try to keep it as clean and aesthetic as possible which is why everything's so white like i really like everything you know white white table as you guys saw i powder coated the whole table white because i like that clean look reminds me of a blank white canvas so it's very inspiring um but i also like industrial like let's get to work so that's kind of like the whole theme of this place hopefully by the end of this year i can get all this put together one thing that's kind of ironic like we have a pretty much like a work operating system slash server that's quite complicated and sophisticated that we use for all of our barbell brigade stuff and it actually costs a thousand dollars a month to operate but all of our projects our communication imagine a slack if you guys have heard of slack or monday imagine those two put together on steroids that's what we use and the part that's ironic is as organized as we are on there my personal daily tasks i put it on there so people know what i'm doing but i like the old school pen and paper something that's very like visceral to me about writing what i need to do down i don't know if it's my add or whatever but it helps ingrain not only uh why i need to do it what i need to do but also the feelings i have behind it like i could go oh that's really urgent or oh this is like a funny thing i could do it later and um yeah so that's what i have over here that's like on my work desk here over here uh not sure when this vlog is gonna come out but if it comes out before may 17th uh here's a secret announcement we're actually working on a spring sale for bardo brigade we're gonna drop the announcement on may 15th but it actually goes live may 17th and it's only a 24 hour thing so may 19th last day that's gonna be gone it's gonna say so you're literally seeing what i'm writing like banner is going to say 48 hours only that's the banner on the website so here is a look into our operating software every single project is on the front page and it's by date like that's the 517 spring sale i told you guys about this was the may 3rd athletics collection you guys saw on my instagram this new project the americana collection that we're dropping in june i am extremely excited about let me move this over here and in this uh on this page it shows the date campfire is where we have discussions with the whole team we have apparel ambassadors message boards on marketing marketing assets media files like our photos videos the whole conversations amongst the staff like invoices that need to get paid artwork all of that stuff you can see all the activity on here like i said this is like slack and monday on steroids but it keeps us highly organized because we're working on multiple projects at once and this is the line blown up so we have um, everything is like americana inspired we got a panther we got that snake wrapping through bb we got the raven and we're restocking our mesh shorts because these crushed like they pretty much sell out like within the hour almost every single drop so we're bringing back all the colors and I'm really excited because all of these look good together and a sticker pack. And this is some of the issues we have to deal with. Like when I got this back from the graphic designer, I don't even know how this happens. It was Brabble Brigade. Like this design's so freaking sick, right? And it says Brabble Brigade. I'm like, what the heck is Brabble Brigade? Like this happens all the time. I remember in 2015, we were doing, uh, or 2016, we did the LA Fit Expo, and we're about to drop 500 beanies there. And when we pulled the beanies out of the box, the tag, the label, it says Barrel Brigade. Barrel, 
not barbell, barrel brigade. Of course, we were pissed and we spent a lot of money and we had to fix all those things and hiccups are never fun. But that I understand because um, they're in China, uh, at least those tags were. So maybe they don't understand English. This graphic designer is from America, okay? And I'm like, how do you, how can you be this sick of an artist and mess these things up? But anyways, we got it fixed. So don't worry, if you grab one of these t-shirts, it's gonna say Barbell Brigade. Um, if it's not gonna say, bear, uh, what do those say, Brabble Brigade? So I'm really excited about this line. See, see that background? It's pretty dope, right? So this here is our knee sleeve in development. And I'm really excited about this because we're trying to come out with one of the strongest knee sleeves on the market. Let's see if you can see it over here. All right, you see that? Look how stiff this is. So we're trying to get it where if you wear these, you can immediately add like 20 pounds to your squat so that your squat and your knees feel that much more stable. So we've uh, agreed and finalized the material. Like it's very, very strong. And uh, now we just need to work on the designs, which thank you guys so much for helping out because I did conduct a poll. And on the poll, over a thousand of you guys voted because I was kind of like split on the fence. Like I want to make sure what I find dope is dope for you guys too. But sometimes like we don't see eye to eye or whatever. So of course your guys' opinion is way more important than mine. But all of you guys voted and over 60% wanted this one. So that's the one that we're gonna get the production sample for. It's sublimated, meaning like there's a pattern in the back that's built into the material and it's the BBs everywhere. And then we got the hardcore skulls in the front, which is what this will end up looking like. And we also wanted to make sure that we up ourselves a notch uh, to our competitors. So a lot of like the, the same items will get made at the same manufacturer. Like that's just how manufacturing works. Like a factory might produce Ford cars and Chevy or Toyota, you know, like that. So the manufacturer sent us this um, drawstring bag to put the knee sleeves in, which I do like the mesh. So it helps it breathe because if you guys have knee sleeves, it gets sweaty and stuff. And then the branding's at the bottom. I'd never like double branding like that. That's like a big graphic design no-no. But the problem with that one is one of our friends that also just dropped knee sleeves recently, that bag looks way too similar, right? It's like the mesh, you got the sleeves. And so I was like, no, 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 no. I want it to look different. So the design that we came up with is this one. First of all, matches the knee sleeve it's that sublimated material it's clear that it's barbell brigade on the outside for this one i didn't mind not having a barbell brigade because i always figure knee sleeves are more of like a sport competition thing and like it and i like it when it looks clean you know like that's one of my favorite things about nike like it just looks clean it's like i'm here to talk with my actions and that's it so i didn't want to like over brand it or anything but with this one we got to make sure who we are so we put barbell and then this whole front side is solid and then the back side is mesh so then that way the entire back side breathes and i also wanted to make a bag where if you guys don't want to put knee sleeves in it like for me for example i have my own mesh bag so i don't need to put my knee sleeves in that bag now i can use that for shoes or other stinky things that need to breathe and i think it's a way better design than something like this or even our competitors like this is they're not the only brand but a lot of them only have a cinch top i want it to be like a wearable backpack so that's where we are with this this project is a little bit further along i believe this one's dropping in september the americana collection you guys just saw that one's dropping in june so if you're excited about that one stay tuned for that one so both of those are apparel based projects that we're working on. We call it labs internally because that's where we like create stuff. On the gym end, because Barbell Brigade is gym, supplements, apparel, and digital training programs. We're having our very first drug tested USAPL meet in July as well. 
So for those, a lot of gyms like to do like a meat tea, kind of like a um, memorabilia piece or something that like, you know, when you do a Spartan race or a marathon, you get to buy a t-shirt. And I was like, how can we do it different? Because I feel like a lot of them look the same and they kind of have this souvenir feel. It doesn't look like, like, oh, I want to just want to rock this regularly. So I was like, you know what I like? I like like tour date posters. Let's put that on a tee and then also whoever signed up instead of the tour dates and the locations, let's put the names on there. So now people get to have a wearable yearbook. So that is our meat tea for this year, which I think is crazy sick. We have, I set this up so it almost looks like hieroglyphics, you know, like USAPL Barber Brigade 2023 open powerlifting meet. So through symbols, we tell the story and everyone that signed up in session one, session two, all your names will be on there. July 22nd. I know we filled up like crazy fast. Um, the minute we launched, I think we filled up within the first couple of hours. So if you guys want this tea, you guys couldn't get in on it. Uh, I think we're gonna try to do another one in November. So stay tuned for that. But um, this is something I'm extremely excited about. So to prep for the powerlifting meet, we're making sure our gym is like ready and presentable. And so one of the first layers we did is change all the light bulbs because some of them are starting to dim, change colors. So not only did we change all the light bulbs in the gym, um, we also installed some extra ones. So some of the darker areas in the gym is extremely bright. As you can see, like this whole gym, is ex even the front is extremely well lit. So obviously I'm not in LA, but we have an amazing, amazing manager, Brian, and I communicate with him through um, base camp so he gives us like updates like right here just to let us know the progress of everything so here's a project that's a little bit more rough around the edges not rough around the edges still uh, more in development I should say it's like in a, in a rougher draft so this is our best-selling mesh short um, every time we drop like I told you guys it sells out like within the hour and we already have those five colors but we feel like there's a bunch more colors that people would want that would also look freaking sick so I was really excited to kind of almost come out with a, not pastel, but almost like a slate, slate line. Like, you know, like slate blue looks way different than blue. And I feel like there's like a slate version of every color, slate green, slate black or whatever. So these are the next three colors I'm trying to develop. So if you can imagine this short in like a slate blue or like a slate, or they call it rifle green, but like a slate green or even a cool gray, I think it'll look pretty sick. Um, what they do is we let them know the Pantone. The Pantone is like the official like coloring guide for the universe. That's how like graphic designers, painters, everyone can be on the same page as to what the color code is. And they just send us back swatches to see how close it is. And then from this, I, I go, oh, like add more blues or like add more grays. And these are the swatches. They come back. And this is a smart way to communicate because then this is way cheaper right, to just dye the fabric and to create a whole new short. So that's how everything is done. It's done in like phases where they send a swatch and then we check the colors. If it's good, then they'll make a prototype. If the prototype is good, then we mass produce and make hundreds or thousands of them. So this is their blue, their green. Obviously this green is way lighter, so I want a darker version of this. This one, um, this one's actually not bad. It's actually a nice color. It is different from here. So I'm asking from a different variation and then I'll choose between the two, which one I like the most. And I'm asking for a pretty like custom gray. Like this gray is almost white. So they sent this, which to me looks like straight up white. So I think for them, they're like, maybe the printer can't even get there because the Pantone can also change depending on the medium, like whether it's cotton, silk, plastic, whatever. So they sent this one. This is their available gray color. And that's actually a really nice gray too. So look at that. Like imagine having like three shorts dropped in uh, these, these three. It would actually look pretty good. So that's uh, mesh shorts that we will be releasing in maybe july or august around that time frame so yeah we're always trying to work like a quarter ahead a quarter meaning like a couple months so that we can uh keep the projects flowing back to that may 17th sale i was telling you guys about so we have some select apparel that will um be discounted most of our apparel sold out like the minute or like the week that we launched so we don't have much left there but we do have 25% off all of our supplements. So this is a really good time to stock up because this is our first sale of the year and we probably won't have another sale 
all the way until probably Black Friday. But some of the things that you can get in the sale that's 25% off is everything that I take daily. So protein, obviously super important. If you're trying to lose weight, build muscle, build strength, anything like that, it's really important. Our protein is triple filtered, which means there's zero fat, zero carbs, uh, lactose free. So if you're lactose, you don't have to worry about that. And we have 25 grams of protein per serving. So it's a very, very high quality protein, not to mention the flavor is delicious Orchata, We got our pre-workout, which is what I take to get amped and hyped for a workout and focus. Cause we got theanine, tyrosine, 350 milligrams of caffeine. One thing that really separates us from the market. We also have three, uh, different species of adaptogenic mushrooms which is known to fight stress, oxidative stress, help you stay focused. So I believe we have the strongest pre-workout on the market and it's the cleanest. Like most people that take it tell me they don't have a crash. Um, so they love this. I take this with our strength stack. If you guys are in strength training, trying to build muscle, you guys know how important creatine is. This is our creatine and glycerol blend. So creatine helps you build muscle, get stronger, train harder, and then glycerol uh, gives you an insane pump. The flavors, of course, are always delicious. We got Jamaica uh, punch and sour gummy greens. Um, this is like your daily insurance. It's hard for a lot of people to eat a ton of veggies, so you can get six superfood veggies in one little scoop. Tastes delicious, aqua de pepino. And then our immunity support, which is our electrolyte blend. Stay hydrated, be complex, vitamin C, a thousand milligrams. And what separates us from a lot of the other electrolyte blends is um, our electrolytes are from organic sources. So freeze dried coconut, Himalayan sea salt, not just a lot of companies will just straight up get this, you know, straight up like Morton salt and just dump it in because it's cheaper. For us at Barlow Brigade, we're a boutique brand. So we try to use the highest quality ingredients, which means they're also more bioavailable. Bioavailable meaning uh, more ready for your body to be absorbed. Like if you've ever taken like a cheap, multivitamin you go at night and then you pee like straight up golden yellow because your body's not absorbing any of it not to mention we also do have a multivitamin that takes care of bone gut heart and uh overall health so your bones your hair all that and ours you will not pee yellow because we use as you just can see like some of the highest quality ingredients that's why they have their own specific logos back there so a multivitamin all of these bad boys are 25 percent off may 17th and now it's time to walk mia because that's also my midday work break um also get get my steps in and also mia's been such a good dog that she deserves a cute new little walk huh mia and guess who's back the young lady freaking germ bag taika <clears throat> what happened um Oh, he just spread his little freaking germy germs on me. And i he's been sick. Yeah. But hasn't been complaining of any type of discomfort other than just being all phlegmy and like a slight cough. Yeah. His cough is gone now. But last night, like at maybe 11 or 12, I woke up because my throat was so dry and scratchy and it was so raw feeling. It was just so painful. Um, you feel better now? Yeah, I went to the I went to urgent care and um, they prescribed like four different medications. I'm like, bro, this is excessive. But it's not ready yet, so I'd rather just get some work in and then I'll go pick it up around lunch or something. I see. I don't feel worse, but the more it goes untreated, I probably will get worse. Yeah, I'm glad you caught it early though. <clears throat> I don't I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> it's so painful. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> That's one of the tough things too, like when you own your own business and you got kids and you're doing both, you can't afford to get sick because then it's like losing a team member. Like we need all hands on deck, like both me and Gio included. Like when I feel sick, I actually feel guilty. I'm like, oh, I can't help. Someone doesn't feel guilty at all. What in the, you lazy bum. Get her paw. Before I take Mia for a walk, I realized I had to make lunch. So I got carried away, I had to bang out some more computer stuff. Um, and I'm like, oh shit, it's lunchtime. And when you're trying to hit your protein requirements, like for me, I'm um, trying to hit about 200 grams of protein because that's the process of losing weight because you don't want to get from like fat, fat to skinny fat. And how do you do that? You want to increase your protein. So as you lose weight, you maintain the muscle while you lose the fat. So um, I need to make sure I portion out all my food or else it's almost impossible to eat like 
200 grams of protein in one sitting. So today I'm gonna be making some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I love things that are three to one or four to one protein ratio. This one is almost five to one. So uh, 4.5 grams of fat, 22 grams of protein. So that's almost like a five to one protein to fat ratio. I'll be making this with lemon pepper. Um, oh, and I love stir fry veggies because it makes it easy. So I always just buy it like this because you know when you're busy you want things convenient and done for you and i try to get a mixture of veggies so that there's like a good variety of like nutrition and vitamins so i got some mushrooms asparagus onions probably cook that um toss it in some garlic salt and just sprinkle some ponzu just like something really light and then make a white rice this is one of my favorite things about having a dog you can cut off the fatty piece they're gonna throw away anyways but just give it to them. And they love it. Mmm, yummy. So when I'm cooking to be on a diet, especially midweek, I just want fast, efficient. I need to eat and go back to work. So this is really simple. Little garlic salt, lemon pepper, mix it all up, and uh, ready to throw it on a pan. I got the chicken on the pan. And just to give uh, the veggies a slightly different profile like flavor profile I use slap your mama Cajun seasoning it's just a little bit of a kick and just tastes slightly different from the chicken so then that way when you're eating stuff you know like throughout the week I like to make a lot like this will probably last probably like three or four meals um, that way you don't get sick of it because then you kind of have like a good thing to bounce back and forth from had I had some lemons which I do. Oh man, I don't know how dry this is, but I'll probably put a splash of lemon in the veggies to make it taste a little bit brighter. And the chicken's looking good. Lemon is something you want to add at the end. I found out the hard way when I was first started learning how to cook because there's sugars in lemon. So it'll straight up start um, crystallizing and then burning because of the sugar content. So it's something you want to add on the end because it can make your food bitter if you add too early and sometimes like you put it on something and the lemon flavor just evaporates because you put too early too so i found out that the lemon does have some juice which is pretty good so i chopped it up already and another thing that's really important is that when you're busy when you're waiting for the food to cook instead of being on your phone and wasting time this is a good time to do any other chore in the kitchen so for me that's putting all my dirty dishes in the dishwasher and also taking all the clean dishes and putting it away. So a lot of the times, um, I'm, and trust me, I've been there too, where it feels like you don't have enough time. Like, how do you have enough time to like work out, train, wash the dishes, do the dishes, cook your food, and still run so many businesses? It's how can you be more efficient with your time is the real question to ask. Because there's people that are even busier than me that can do all of the above. So uh, most of the time it's in one hour, are you just stuck doing one thing and then the phone for the rest? Or are you doing like six to ten things per hour? So that's what I'm doing right now, putting all this stuff away. And then by the time the food is done, guess what? The dishes are also ready to be washed. All right, so the chicken's done. Looks really good. Added the splash of lemon. Got the veggies done. So all I need to do is wait for the rice cooker. Still says about 20 minutes. Um, this thing is a liar. Sometimes it'll go like 20 and then out of nowhere it goes to like eight. And based on the amount of rice I put in there, I think it's gonna lie to me today. So it says 20, but I'm thinking it's probably gonna be like less than 10. So it gives me perfect enough time to clear all of this. Did I just say this? I don't know why I say it like that. And then put that into the dishwasher. See, bam, cleared the sink. And you might be wondering, wait, so if you got the dishwasher loaded, how come you didn't put it in yet? And it's all about preparation and efficiency because I know once I serve this food, guess what? I got two more dirty pans. So what I'm gonna do is when I serve the food, I'll package these guys in the Tupperwares and I'll throw those last two in there that way we do one quick efficient wash and uh it's about getting pretty close 
time to have lunch. All right, threw the pans in there because I put the leftovers and the Tupperwares already. Mama Bear's not feeling good, so I feel very, very bad. But I know Mama likes the asparagus, that's why I cooked the asparagus for her. That's very nice. Big Thank Can you. Can you do the taste test? Tell me how it tastes. Yeah. <laughs> the rice <laughs> pressed, oh my god. Guess I have some of yours in Tekka's jeans after all. Mmm. Perfectly seasoned. Mmm. Very good. Big cutie. Very good, I love it. Thank you. I'm a big fat so I've been eating like crap, so. I'm doing no rice, only just chicken and veggies. And she's waiting for anything to fall on the ground. She could be out in the back. Just finished yummy lunch. Now it's time to take Mia on a walk. And uh, since I didn't train today, I don't have too many steps in. So I got to make up a lot, a lot of it. So I will be walking for probably almost an hour to get like six to 7,000 steps in. And usually during this time, um, I like to be efficient and listen to like real estate or finance or business podcasts too. Um, and that's how I'm able to kind of keep increasing my knowledge and education while uh, bumping up my fitness. But I hope you guys liked um, the bring family to work day vlog. I'm going to end it right here because when I'm walking with me, I can't be bringing a camera with me. Um, let me know if you like this. I'll do more of these, share more about projects. But if any of these projects interest you, the main ones to keep track of is May 17th. We're having our first sale of the year, the spring sale, 25% off select apparel and supplements. And then also in June, we have the super sick Americana collection, the one with the snake that we saw. And uh, in July, we have our powerlifting meet if you guys wanna come um, and watch and support. And um, the knee sleeves, that's coming way later on, but I'll keep updating you guys and uh, I'll update you guys with my office as I hopefully get a chance to <laughs> clean up this big old mess.